had done a, a show on Broadway called Steel Pier that Andre Bishop came to see. And after he saw Steel Pier, he called me up and he said, if you have an idea, we will help you develop it. And to hear that from a producer is like music to your ears because you usually don't have a producer just saying, if you have an idea, we'll help you develop it. That's, that's unheard of, especially today. So uh, when he said that to me, I said, you know, I do have an idea. And I called my dear friend John Weidman and we got together and worked on an, a story that would be accessible to New Yorkers. The idea of, you know, New Yorkers fight to live on top of each other and can never seem to make contact or to meet one another. So uh, we came up with this story about uh, a girl in a yellow dress. I had actually been down to a club down in the meatpacking district in New York and into the sea of, of New Yorkers wearing dark clothing stepped a girl in a yellow dress and I thought to myself, that girl will change someone's life tonight. I thought that would make a great short story. So that's how we started with Contact. And then, of course, Contact ended up being three short stories put together for the evening, and they all pertained about um, making contact and people falling in love or not in love and, and what it means and how important it is to connect. After coming up with the idea of the short story, um, Andre Bishop and Bernie Gersten allowed me 18 dancers in their wonderful studios at Lincoln Center and I had to find a girl that would fit the bill as the girl in the yellow dress so I had auditions and I needed this girl to be filled with mystery and sensuality and in walked Deborah Yates at the auditions and I thought to myself please please I hope she dances <laughs> and and I gave a dance combination and she was incredible. But it was mostly the way she walked into the room that knocked me out. And uh, that continued, of course. All she needed was a yellow dress. The Lincoln Center gave me the opportunity to create and also to not be in a category. They did not say to me, make a musical, make a play, do a dance piece. They allowed me to be in any category. And that category became a very unique category. It became contact. And um, I could not have had that freedom anywhere else. There is no place like Lincoln Center Theater, no place like it. To be able to develop in a very protected environment and to be able to fall on your face and, and to rise again both uh, Andre Bishop and Bernie Gersten allow you um, a freedom that you don't get anywhere else. The whole Broadway community closed down for three or four shows after 9-11, but they soon came back because that was a place to go to relieve yourself from grief. And I think for contact, people went into that show and it was all about how important it was to make contact, to connect with people, to call someone that you haven't heard from for a very long time. And I think the show resonated during 9-11.